Hey guys. I just thought I'd talk about an issue that I think you guys have come across this issue. In art books, uh, not all art books, some that are, I understand when a book is out of print, but not when the artist is still alive and the book is still being printed and the book is being sold for $200, like a la prima. And what I don't understand is when artists, like these people, that allow this to happen, maybe they think it's, it puts, it makes them look better that their book, there's such a demand that the book is being sold on Amazon for $200. But I don't think it's a, it might be a good thing for him, fine. But for artists, majority of artists, because artists, let's face it, we have no money. We barely sell. They don't have programs like back in the days when the government would pay us to put up signs. This doesn't exist anymore. Okay? And... I've been painting 40 years, and everything I know, it's been basically self-taught. And at the Lee, I had to study there for one year and throw garbage, sweep floors, dust the place, mop the place. So basically, I had to come into school, sweep, mop, clean everything, miss like 20 minutes of the class, get the back part of the, uh, uh, get the ending of the class, and then go home, all right? I did this for one whole year. I live in the Bronx, and you know, it's in the ghetto, but I wanna paint. It's something I've always wanted doing. When I run into people where they sell videos for 200 DVD videos, I don't understand how could a video where MGM, movie companies, make movies for millions and millions of dollars, cameras that are worth $100,000, actors that they pay three, four million for a part, maybe sometimes even more. And they're able to sell their movies for $20. So, movie... Some people sell these movies for $200, $160, $170, $100, $90. Dollars. I don't buy them. I can't afford to buy them. So what, what, what happens is people end up uploading them on the internet. They create a black market. They create, make a demand where people want the stuff. They can't get it and get it to other means. Now the person, the publisher doesn't make shit because the Alla Prima book that I have on my tablet, let me show you. I didn't pay for it. I got it through PDF. And, um, and they end up losing money, dude. And, um, There it goes, Alla Prima. There it goes, the whole book. Okay? Book that costs 200 bucks. I would have preferred to buy the book. Like, I've purchased all these books here. Like, I've purchased all those books that are over there. Like, I have purchased all the books I have purchased all through here. But they weren't two hundred dollars. The most book here that I've purchased maybe cost fifty bucks. You know, prices that are people can you know afford or or thirty bucks. You know, buy them used twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, and more people are buying them when they're that price then the best art books, let's, let's be honest. Well, these books, and they're all through Amazon. 
and they sell for 10 bucks. Okay? But then I don't understand how artists like Richard Smith and Dave Villafell and these people, knowing how hard it is for some artists, they know art is hard. It's hard. I mean, I bought videos, but videos that I didn't have to pay so much money. You know, $20, $30. I can pay 20 bucks. I can pay 25 bucks. Get one to this month. Get one the following month. And, you know, until I get all the DVDs. But when these people sell freaking DVDs, what? $97. It's like a huge percentage of my uh, my uh, social security, my my veterans check. I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. I always swore that if I would ever get, and I'm good. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm so good. I could make, you know what? I can make the same because I do. I make videos teaching others, but not everyone knows everything. I don't art. You never get to a a, a level where you okay. I know everything. I don't have to learn anymore. No, there's always something you can learn from every artist. So I enjoy still learning and listening to other artists and buying their work, buying their books, and listening to them. And and I have made videos. And I don't make shit on them on YouTube. And I put them out there free because I want to help people that are getting into art. Don't, might not know anything about primary, secondary perspective. And do a little bit of what I can do to help someone. But uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. I guess maybe these people, they, they, they. They get, I don't, I don't know what happens that they, they do this. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, really, I can't figure it out. It's one artist listening to his, his videos. I just ran into this guy. And there's a lot of stuff I, I'm listening to him. A lot of stuff that, uh, I enjoy listening to him, so he's got these videos, and I wanted to buy them, but $97, my God, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, and, uh, and, wh is he going to get my money? No, but, uh, if maybe if the price would have been, you know, where people can afford it, 20 bucks, then, then fine, or, 25 bucks. I mean, I've made videos before. What a freaking CD cost is. Or even a free upload. <laughs> upload. You don't even have to buy a CD these days. Put the freaking video online. And person pays $20 and it uploads into their hard drive on their computer. You know how many hits you're going to get? Every month. Oh shit, I got this video now. I want to get this one. Now. I want to get that one. You know, and I'm now I'm not buying anything, and then 97 bucks. I better be getting a DVD, a case, and the whole thing. So it just wasting more time paying more people to make CDs, and and it's just yeah, yeah, you think you're gonna make more because the price is higher, you think everyone else is, um. Everybody else is doing it, so let me do it. Let me charge these ridiculous prices. Why don't you try it? Why don't you try it? And see what happens. I remember um, this lady um, in the cigarettes in New York City. They, they went up so much now. Cigarettes have gone up to 12 bucks. I gotta stop smoking. <laughs> That's another problem. 12 bucks, okay? And what happened? Now you got people, you see this is these pills, Chantex, they're supposed to help people stop smoking. Now you got people coming from other states, bringing cigarettes where they pay less tax to New York City, 
and selling them for eight dollars instead of selling selling them for twelve dollars and people buying them so that's how I buy them so because uh, I can't pay twelve they're coming from another state it's still new ports but I'm paying less money someone is driving them in but anyway I remember one day going to a guy he used to sell the cigarettes in the across the street then they had another guy in front of the grocery store so the grocery store was selling the cigarettes for 12 and then they had a guy in the front of the store selling them for eight bucks so he would catch the customers before he would come in and they were people were buying them and the guy from the store wasn't making shit meanwhile the people that were selling them for eight they had a stack of money i would go and buy you give the guy a 20 he has to give you uh, twelve dollars back these guys will have these stacks thousand dollars just all day selling cigarettes but this black market they created this black market themselves this black market didn't exist before now they've done it i mean took the prices so high that you know and it affects you some way or another it affects you believe me when we bring these ridiculous prices it affects you in some way believe me because that's the mentality that people think selling things for more money they're gonna make more money which is not true you know i i, I remember i used to go to um where people put these tables out and sell hammers, screwdrivers. And I remember I got this bunch of hammers I wanted to sell. I think I had a thousand of them. And um, I asked the Jewish guy, how much should I sell the, the hammers for? He was like, well, if you sell them for four bucks, you get rid of them like crazy. You know, you get rid of them fast, four, three bucks. Now, if you try to sell them for 10, you're going to sit on them for a few months. And you're going to, I mean, are you into warehousing stuff or selling stuff? <laughs> so I was like, no, I want to get rid of them, you know. I have a lot of them. And, hey, I got rid of them. Now, if I would have sold them for 10, 15 bucks, I would have sat on those hammers for months. I would have been busting my ass every day, taking more stuff back home. And less money but meanwhile I was taking more money back home and I was taking less stuff <laughs> you know and I was making more money and when I when the Jewish man I remember him telling me that it made a lot of sense you know um, and then videos if you think about videos it's a you're being a lot of these videos that these people sell it's a camera them camera pointed to a, uh, uh, an easel, them painting, and them explaining what they do. They don't have no uh, leading man, uh, extras, they don't have any of that. A light, a camera, that's it. You know, and then they want uh, 200, <laughs> it's ridiculous, it is. It's ridiculous, and I hate when artists do this. I really hate when artists do this. Uh, because they know, they know what it is to struggle as an artist. Because everybody knows struggling artists that it's true. Artists struggle, and I have struggled, and, and it's hard. It's hard when other people have to pay for other things, food, you know, right? And, and you charge $97 for one DVD, $97 if a person gets a thousand dollars per month that's a huge percentage of their their income for the whole month that's a hundred dollars you know that's person makes 15 bucks an hour that's I gotta work a whole day for a fucking video I think that's disturbing meanwhile I can go and buy a movie a regular movie video from MGM where these people have spent millions Iron Man and paid 25 bucks 
and have a movie where they've spent millions and millions and millions. So yeah, they make more money. But you you probably be making more money too, and you probably be more known because your video would be in more homes and people would, you know, but you want to sell your video for ninety dollars, less people are gonna see you, less people are gonna know you. And that's it. That's how I see it. I mean, I pray to God. I mean, I'm right now, believe me, I am. I, I, uh, I don't think I'm a bad artist. I tell you, I've been doing this for a long time. I can do good work. I can't see myself doing that. I can't see myself. I could see myself making a video. 20 bucks, that's it. Put it on my page, that's it. You know, matter of fact, I just, Facebook just gave me, I made that thing with them that I can charge people now for videos. It's a new thing Facebook has. Uh, so I can probably make a couple of videos. Uh, but, you know, and then there's so many people that it's, it's, it's so competitive these days because YouTube, there's so many people making full length videos, full length videos, art videos, and they're not charging anything. They're by the hundreds on YouTube, by the hundreds. So artists think about it in these terms. Okay, why am I gonna spend $90, $97 for this video if there's so many other artists teaching the same shit this guy's teaching for free somewhere else but meanwhile sometimes you run into some artists that it just clicks you know like this one artist that I came across I've learned shit everything that guy's talking about I've seen it and heard it on other Chan other channels you know but just like the way he teaches something about you just like it why not why not get the video but uh you can't you can't not not in those prices i'm left to buying videos use or people give me hand-me-downs that's how i've created my video library that I have here or oh, I had to upload them or get them from people that you see you see now these artists did, did, did any of these artists get my money any of those artists no No, because I'm not paying two hundred, three hundred dollars. I'm sorry. I mean, I really wish I could get the real thing. And and don't get me wrong, there's videos that I have gotten the real thing that have reasonable prices, like twenty bucks. Okay, twenty bucks. Like people like this. So that's proof right there, and I have a few other more that are selling for those prices, okay? And that video, I've seen it in more places and more homes than other videos. Why? Because it's cheaper. So think about it. Think about that. And, uh, and that's it. I just thought I'd share that, and, um, and I, it just, you know, I hate to see that, especially when people want to learn, and, and knowing how hard it was for me, it was really hard for me in the beginning, really hard. Now, I sometimes, I, um, I see videos of kids in India, in poor countries and I see them doing these little unboxing little they have their little 
Amazon in India and I saw this one video of this Indian boy doing an unboxing of this sketch pad that he bought in his Amazon I mean Amazon over there in India which the quality of art supplies is shit and he was so thrilled to make this one video and and you see the stuff that he owns and, and it just well, I, I mean, how many times I've done it? I mean, how many times I've seen artists and I have gotten in contact with people on Facebook? You don't believe me? I'll give you names. Get back to me. I don't know. I don't know these people. And something about me seeing their video. And I was like, listen, I have some brushes that I'm not using. Could I send them? Would you like some free brushes? I bought this... Uh, I came across, I think, five sets of this watercolor paint. I had like six, seven of them. As a matter of fact, the same person that I sent the brushes to, because I became friends with her. And I was at calm, and I got my hands on some uh, watercolor sets. Um, would you like a couple of sets? I had like, uh, I had like, I had like uh, eight of them. I came across like eight of those sets, watercolor sets. It's like a watercolor pan with all the colors. And uh, I think I gave her. Oh, one, matter of fact, I gave this set right here. It's very expensive. I gave her one of these sets, and this set sells for seventy bucks. I gave her one of these, and one of the other ones. And I sent a few other things to her comment. And well, I do stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. But, um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. But, um, I just thought I'd share this. This is my, uh, little, um, uh, how you say, um, uh, my little rant. On video prices and some artists that sell their books in the art and, and, and Amazon for 200 bucks and I just think it's disgusting and don't get me wrong don't tell me that these artists are not aware that this is going on they know very well this is going on and they allow it okay because these artists can be like hey push more books out but they keep it in such a, uh, where the demand is not so much that, you know, the prices stay high. And these books were still being published. And I'm talking about artists like Richard Smith, artists that are so fucking well known and they were doing this. Why? I don't know. Maybe their handlers allow them to do these things, but, you know, I just, I don't know. I always said that was to ever got to even make it I would fucking never do that I would never charge those prices I would never do that I mean just I've learned so much God, and, and to all the artists that have put stuff on YouTube because yeah I study at the lead but believe me I learned I have learned so much on YouTube I have done things on YouTube that I have learned how to fix my phone. I have saved so much money through YouTube. It's been a good uh, a, a good place to to go to when you want to find something out. It's been a good place to go to. But um, there's a lot of artists that I would love to buy their DVDs, and they push people. To find other ways to get their DVDs, and then it ends up that their work gets put out there in the black market, and it gets so spread out where their work is not being sold at all. Their DVDs are not being sold at all. Like you got some uh, Cesar Santos, that other artist, DVDs are like three hundred bucks. Meanwhile, if they would keep the prices down, this wouldn't happen. 
their work wouldn't be in the black market. They'd be making so much money. They'll be making triple, four times more than what they're making now. And they would sell their work, their DVDs and at a price. And keep in mind, when you was first coming up and you was trying to learn, and you were seeing everybody else doing the same shit you're doing now, selling these DVDs for all this money, and how it made you feel when you had no money and you was not able to get those DVDs or get the stuff that you needed to, you know. It's good that, you know, I remember my son, we're poor, my son went to college and some books were very expensive, college books. But Amazon had a program where you can rent the book and after you finish with it, you sent it back. And that helped a lot, you know, but... And there was other ways of me getting the book. And, and you have to, I mean, I really don't want to do that. I really prefer to just do things where I can just get the CD and, <laughs> you know, and do things the right way. And I, I have no problem with them making money, but when things are at a price where things are, you're not trying to break a person, you know. Like you think about some people these days, you got people today that make only 15 bucks an hour. And, and a lot of them want to be honest. I mean, there's a few that probably make 15 bucks, I'm guessing, that make 15 bucks an hour that want to be artists. How can they afford to buy a freaking CD that sells for $97? That's a whole day of someone working in McDonald's, wiping tables, cleaning toilets. Anyway, bye-bye.